To start off, we need to have a Mac OS machine, be it a MacBook or a Mac mini, whatever suits you. And we need to understand that there are four major components that you need to take care of. First one is the language, which is Swift in our case. The second one is the UI framework, which could be UI kit or Swift UI based on your preference. The third one is networking, which is how to handle APIs and their response, which is mostly JSON. And the fourth one is how to create an app and deploy it to the app store. So I'll touch upon all of these points one by one starting off first with the language. So let's talk about Swift. To learn Swift, the best possible resource that is available in today's time is Apple developer documentation. And if you do not find comfortable learning from that, then you can go with other options like hacking with Swift, swiftanytime.com, Swift by Sundell, Swift with Majid, and some similar options like that. Now the most important topics in Swift that enables you to start off your development journey are data types, error handling, optionals, generics, closures, if let, guard let conditions, and these core topics that enables you to go ahead. Now let's talk about the UI framework. As far as UI framework is concerned, you have two options, which is UI kit and Swift UI, the classic discussion. Go with Swift UI since that's a future, period. Here's a list of topics in Swift UI that will help you to start off in the iOS development. Views, view modifiers, layout system, navigation stack, life cycles, custom views, and also learn how to communicate between two views. And that's all for the important topics in Swift here to get you started. Now the third point is networking, or you can also call it handling or calling the APIs. Now Apple provides you with a lot of native APIs that are wrapped up in a single class called URL session, which is a part of foundation framework. This API helps you to call the server and fetch your data from the database. You also get to learn how to handle the response that you get from the server. So generally you get JSON response, which is a format in which you receive the response. Its full form is JavaScript object notation. You can either use JSON serialization for that, which URL session obviously provides you. And the other way around today in today's time is codables. You can also learn how to use codables to parse your JSON response. Now you have additional libraries, third party libraries as well that you can use. One of them is Elmo Fire, which obviously runs over the URL session. So that's your choice if you want to go with third party APIs that is not recommended since we have already like native solutions that Apple provides us. Now the final and the most important point is to create an application and then deploying it to the App Store. So as far as the idea for the application is concerned, you can go with as basic idea as creating a weather application or maybe creating a Twitter clone, just having the Twitter feed, maybe following feature and that's it. This will not just help you in growing your iOS development skill set, but will also help you in your future iOS interviews because you will have enough content to talk about, enough approaches to talk about and enough applications obviously to talk about. In a longer run, you will be able to create a bigger application as well. Start small, but stay consistent with that. The last part is how to deploy the application to the App Store. So we have enough resources available on the internet. I'll attach few of them in the description box. You can take the rest for reference from there. Lastly, to create your career in iOS development, you have enough options to explore. You can either create your own application and start earning revenue from that. You can start applying for freelancing roles on various websites. You can start applying for internships. You can start looking out for full-time job. Now just go and start off your learning. Well, that's all for this video. Now you're good to go. Start learning and exploring iOS development using this video as your guide and make this world a better place by creating your new iOS application. If you like this video, then hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.